Okay, so here's where we left off. So now we're just going to go to the next slide and give this top one here. I'm just going to make it long enough so that it covers it properly and make it the same colour. So all the um, all the slides will have the same colour as whichever um, marker from the progression marker. And you can make it just a little bit bigger here. So here is where you're going to um, select your videos now, where you've got it. And I'm just going to go Control X, or again you can go up to Fire, um, sorry, Edit and Cut, or right click and cut. But Control X is also cut. Um, then I'm going to go up to Insert, Insert Video. And, whoops, I've already done it before because I had a practice go, but I will just basically put Control V or Paste, um, right click Paste in there, and then I'll search it up and it will come up with um, the YouTube clip that you found. So I will then select that and press Select, and it will enter it as a little video box. So now I can just make that a little bit smaller and move it around a little bit to wherever I want it. Maybe here, so that it looks aligned. Um, or anyway, we can work out the alignment later on, but that's how that looks. So now for pictures. So I'll say look at this picture here, and I've downloaded it to my computer, so I'll go up to Insert, Image, Upload from computer, and I've made um, a file here for my pictures, and I've called it pronoun one pick. And I'll open it like this, and I can see now that I probably have to make another slide because all of this text, so I'm just going to cut this and put it onto another slide. Uh, put that here, and then here. So here you can see that I've just changed the format a little bit to make, I've just pressed enter on that one just to make that like that, and I moved the picture over to here so that it's a little bit bigger and easier to see. And I've just tried to keep it to one picture per page like that. And I've just been through and reformatted it so that now these words here are 24, so it's easier, 24 fonts, so it's easier to see as we go through. But again, there's still lots of space. Um, so it's still easy to read. So, and here on the last page, I've just done references for all the pictures and videos because we just need to acknowledge it. If this was like a teach PL or something, you would have to reference underneath here, but um, it's for students. I think that will just confuse them and make it too busy. So I just think we can have that at the end. So this is the final slideshow looking something like this. But again, um, I'm quite happy to get feedback on if you've got any better ideas for formatting or anything, but at the moment we'll just keep it as this sort of consistency and see what we come up with. Um, I will do a separate video about installing audio, um, just because that is a little bit more complicated. Okay, hope this helps. See you soon.